Jeez, have you looked at the time? I wish the church board had listened to me when I suggested that we move the service time. Your breakfast is there. Great. Mm. What is this? I had to use up the leftover meatloaf from last Friday's church potluck. And the toast, a nuclear disaster. In everything, give thanks. I think I read that in the Bible somewhere, Pastor Michael. I'll be fasting this morning. <clears throat> Speaking of Bible, Hannah, have you seen mine anywhere? Gee, last I looked we had um, six or seven on the bookshelf. My Schofield reference Bible. Leather bound, red letter edition. Honey, I'm sure those other Bibles are basically the same. I'm teaching Sunday school this morning. It has all of my notes. I need that one. Where did you read it last? Two weeks ago, when I taught that Seek God in the Morning devotional at the men's Bible study. You're sure you didn't put it somewhere? I haven't seen it. Maybe you should pray about it. Dear God, please show me where my wife lost my Bible. I can't do this right now. I need to get to church to practice on the worship team. Okay, so since when has your ministry been more important than mine? Are we going to argue about this again? Ephesians says, wives, submit to your husbands. It also says, husbands, love your wife. Yes, but... Hello? Oh, hi, Lois. Oh, no problem. I can definitely give you a ride to church. Mm-hmm. God bless you, too. Oh, good grief. Why can't that woman fix her car? Now I'm going to be even more late. Oh, God forbid. Okay, I am sure I put both my shoes right here last night. Where is the other one? Maybe you should pray about it. Oh, you better pray. I don't strangle you. Hold on. Uh, your cork-heeled shoe? Yes, I left them right here after last night's Christian marriage seminar. I think I saw Bosco chewing on it out in the front yard. Now I'm gonna strangle you and that stupid dog! Perfect timing. <laughs> but who's here on a Sunday morning? Oh, maybe it's your shoe. Uh, or your Bible. <laughs> oh, hello, Hannah. Good morning. Well, who is it? I think it's that weird hippie guy from around the corner. The one who lives in that tent thing? It's a yurt. Yeah, whatever. See what he wants. Sorry, um, have we met before? Well, I've known you and Michael for a long time. You have? Can I come in? Come in? Why? Well, I'd like to share a meal, spend some time together. <laughs> Hold on. Not so fast, Mr. Well, hey, Michael, it's been a while since we last talked. <laughs> Wait a minute, buddy. Why should we trust you? You both trusted me quite a few years ago. But. I thought I'd come knocking and rekindle our relationship. Sorry, uh, dude, but uh, maybe some other day. Uh, right now, we're late for church. Oh, church. I like that place. You go to church? When I'm welcome there. I have a lot of friends in the church. And the others? Well, I'm still working on them. But I love them all. Right. Well, uh, oh, hey, it's getting really late. We better get moving. Yeah, I gotta go preach the gospel, sweetie. Some other time, perhaps. But feel free to call on me anytime. I'm always here. <laughs> Thanks for respecting our tight schedule. <laughs> Michael, I believe you were asking for this. It was in your car under your seat. And Hannah, here's your shoe. It's got a little dog slobber on it, but I made sure Bosco didn't chew it up too badly. Well, time for church. Maybe I'll see you guys there, and don't forget to pick up my good friend Lois. Love you guys. Jesus Christ. I thought he'd be taller. <laughs> <laughs>